coach. Ready? New hairdo. <laughs> really. <laughs> WestBranchFootball.com exclusive. Turn on the lights for the new Musco lighting here at All Open Street Field for the first time. As you see, Coach Peterson turned the key. Superintendent Kevin Hatfield with me, head coach Butch Peterson. Mr. Hatfield, start with you. Just kind of talk about the process and how this all came to fruition. Well, first I want to thank our school board and I want to thank uh, our facilities advisory team. There are about 25, 30 people dedicated for 18 months to take a look at priorities in our district. We have a really nice plan for the next you know, 15 years. And one of our priorities was to upgrade in several uh, areas in terms of athletic programming and fine arts programming. So one of our first steps is to get our football field the power back up to speed that's been you know 40 50 years uh, without any upgrades and then the lights themselves and you can see them coming on the background the main thing for me is that I know we have a person standing right beside me right between us Jason has put a lot of time and heart and energy into kids and I'm just really honored to stand with him today and, and I hope he feels great about what he sees here when they really come up for full light so I'm gonna turn it back over to coach. Well and coach you you, know, you played under the old lights and you've coached under them now for how well it'll be this is your See eight plus 30 wants to be your 39th season on the sidelines combined. So you've seen these lights from from where they were to where they are now. Just kind of give what is, what are your feelings when you see this and like wow. Well, you're you're very humbled, Jason, <laughs> because we uh, there have been a lot of memories under those lights that have now gone past, and we're going to create a lot more new ones uh, under the new lights. But to have our uh, superintendent of schools behind us like he was from the very beginning, our school board administration is very gratifying. It's a proactive. Uh, situation where our, our school and our superintendent decide we're going to try to stay up with everybody else in the area and was richly deserved to do that. I mean, it's 40 to 50 years uh, with those lights and, you know, I think we're going to have to schedule a couple practices under the lights to get used to them because they're going to be bright. And uh, we're very excited. The kids are very excited. And again, this year we'll try to play to the best of our ability and represent our school district in a positive manner. And so, of course, as we fan out a little bit here, you can see most of the team is actually showing up to check this out tonight. And now you can see the lights kind of coming out in full glory here, shining. People from West Branch are thinking, why are the lights on in the first week of August? Well, got to test them out, got to get them ready for Friday here in a couple of weeks.